Hello, everybody. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we are back, Scott and I, sharing a monthly subscription box that was sent to us for free. They wanted us to try it out, share it with you guys, and let you guys know it's out there. And the reason he is here is because it's a man's box. Yeah. It is by you, Mantry. You mean aside from the fact I live here? Well, that's, a, that's the other reason. Yes, he does live here, but it is by Mantry, <laughs> which is the modern um, man's pantry. So it's geared towards men, and it comes in a crate. Scott's going to share a lot of the stuff inside and sample it. And um, it's a food of the month club, and it is a little bit more pricey. Um, it does cost about $75 a month. Shipping, can you move that for yeah, me? Shipping is $10 per box and um, it comes with like six full-size products from um, different American um, Americans who who are artisan food people basically uh, is what the website says. It's a 50 cent word. Yeah well artisan. Um, so it comes in this <laughs> cute little crate look at that and it has mantry on both sides and we will have everything listed out on the blog. Well, uh -huh. You'll do all that? No. I will have Thank everything. You. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing the products with you. He's going to be reading out of this booklet, which I do want to share. It is this booklet that gives you lots of recipes and how to use some of the products that they're sending you. So let me okay. find the first one. Which one is the first in the book? Uh, the first one is a yellow bird habanero sauce. Maybe that's this one. It comes wrapped up. Okay, so here it is. Okay, it. so some hot sauces are pure white heat, nothing but burn. Save those for the Scoville Spike Scorchers for bar bets and paint stripping. This is a salsa worth savoring. Instead uh, of a high octane peppered like uh, the infamous Ghost Chili, the Austin made hot sauce uses humbler uh, habanero, uh, ending up its brightly fruity uh, undertones with an additional spritz of tangerine and lime juice. Um, and it's colored with a blend of carrots, so it's perfect on tacos but mellow enough for a michelada. Try it. Huh, no, thank you. It's a habanero sauce. <laughs> yeah. so that's something. You go to try that. it. Let's try it. <laughs> you can handle this. Come on. Let's see. All right, you can take it. Okay. Well, it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. Are you I gonna be able to still talk? Oh yeah, I can still talk. <laughs> so you know, it is a full size product, and it says here, yellow birds by nature are immune to the heat from spicy peppers, therefore having free reign over this abundant food source. While other animals tuck and run at the mere whiff of the heat, the yellow bird is leisurely dining in comfort of the pepper garden, basking in the flavor of the spice. And it says, "Be the be the bird." And, the, and what's in here, it's organic. It's organic carrots, onions, habanero peppers, organic distilled vinegar, garlic, organic cane sugar, tangerine juice concentrate, salt, lime, and juice concentrate. And again, this is um, an American product. It's from um, yellowbirdsauce.com and it is manufactured in Austin, Texas. A lot of guys don't they like American made products. Yes. Yes. So this, this is definitely um, something I'm sure he will use in addition to all the other hot sauce and sriracha and everything else hot in this hot house. Hot What's the next thing? Next thing are the jalapeno chips. The jalapeno chips. Um, okay. And I'm not there. sure I'm pronouncing it right, but Diano's, uh, jalapenos. Jalapeno chips, uh, first tested at uh, Diano Duckworth Cactus Cafe in Stowe, Vermont. These chips are like like your log standard Asprey's Ski Pepper Top Nachos. Huh, without those pesky tortillas. Um, simply sliced peppers, uh, fried and dusted with all natural cheddar besides the obvious out right under the bag lift. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you going to try one? They make a great crunch and a kick in the tongue, topping off a breakfast taco, scrambled eggs, or sweet uh, fried scrambled potatoes. Eggs. Yeah, yeah, it's let's see. Yeah, I can eat those. You like those? Not too bad. So, There's jalapenos. Is all it's, it's got. It, it just one is, um, well, it's jalapenos, vegetable oil, and cornstarch, and um, sea salt. And this is made in... Um, <laughs> Hardwick, Vermont, and it's Dino's Jalapenos.com. Dino's, I think. 
Dianos. Dianos. Uh, we will have these um, listed on the blog just in case you see anything that you or your husband might like. I know these are more men geared, but there's a few boxes on that website that I could totally go with. Okay, so what's the next uh, item? The next thing is the Pernicious Pickling Company. All right. It's pickled red onions. It says, so Cal made by a couple of transplants, one from Mississippi, the other from England. A pernicious is anything but evil. The name is ironic. The pickles are classic. Veggies and vinegar. Simple as that. These neon pink slivers not only give your taco a burst of color, but a sharp, spicy edge to slice through the meat. Should a platter of steaming stewed pork uh, seem a tad indulgent even for a midnight munchie, they're also uh, repentantly tart kiss of health. Onions are a veggie, right? No. Huh. Oh, wow. Oh. I think they smell amazing. <laughs> and you know what you would like these with? Cucumbers. Cucumbers and tomatoes, yeah. Absolutely. He would. And um, these are, um, they only have red onions, apple cider vinegar, sugar, water, spices, and kosher salt. It is manufactured. Um, so Southern California. Um, yeah. Uh, Costa, Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa. Mm -hmm. California. And they are at Pernicious pickling.com so I actually think we will really enjoy these both of us with those um, cucumbers and such I think we'll like them good you think you'll like them yes on tacos no we forgot to mention you guys this box <laughs> taco truck <laughs> this box is about tacos and they included a card and it's like sub um, it says Southern California or where tacos are a roadside ritual saddle up to, to the takeout window bare feet burning on the asphalt and wash down some carnitas I can't say that word carnitas with I, I carnitas with I ice before jumping back on the 101 there might not be a more perfect fast food than the taco, but it is often overlooked as the star of the dinner party. It is interactive, crowd-pleasing, and low-maintenance enough that, as a host, you can actually enjoy yourself. Give it a go, invite some friends, crack open some beers, and bring the taco in off the streets. And in our house, tacos are really not looked over because Jackson yeah, adores yeah, them. Yeah, we did about once uh, every couple of weeks. Yes, we do. Okay, what, what are we looking at? Okay, next is uh, Old Dog Ranch Mexican Hot Walnuts. Okay. Okay, it says the San Joaquin County Farm has been uh, shaking down and shelling walnuts for five generations. They're known for their nuts. Walnut trees can live for, for centuries, but times and tastes change, which means the old dog has some new tricks. Uh, while Dad runs to the farm, the daughter turns their buttery, rich, omega-3 packed nuggets into an even tastier and even more irresistible flavor bombs like these Mexican-inspired morsels. Dusted with rich cocoa, warming cinnamon, and a zesty pinch of cayenne, uh, trendy but traditional, the ranch still grows, it dries, and grinds the peppers themselves. I would. Okay. You shouldn't have them. I don't like them. I don't like, I don't like walnuts. That's what I want to say. You're okay. Do you like it? It's okay. Um, again, like he said, um, they are certified transitional walnuts, organic sugar, cocoa powder, organic cinnamon, Old Dog Ranch organic can can they, cayenne. Cayenne. I say cayenne. Um, and these are out of Linden, um, California at odogranch.com. I don't really like spicy things, so this might not be a box that I like, but it's certainly a box most men would probably like. True. Yes. Okay, what's the next thing? That's it? No, it's not. I'm telling you that's it. For the little, no, little no, no, no. Turn it over. Okay, what, I miss something here? Yep. You, he thought his job was oh, done. damn ah. it. Okay, okay. Right, the next thing is Savage Jerky Company Mojo Jerky, which is a good thing for me, I think. It says, when it comes to road eats, while a few rare gas stations are diamonds in the oil, so to speak, think a great hole in the wall taco stands like Fuel City in Dallas or uh, uh, De Amigos in uh, Pascadero, uh, most, of course, are the... Are the uh, food deserts, stomach rumbling, gas tank low, and fluorescent, fluorescent oasis of beacons. Uh, while the car drinks to a fill, you muse over the hypnotic sunshine, wow, so, excuse me, hypnotic slushy machines and mystery tubs <laughs> of no-name jerky. It's a tough road, mystery. Yeah, yes, it is. It's tough. It says, uh, road trips, uh, grumbles unseated. The Georgia buddies behind Savage decided to make it their own. Their classic mojo is beefy with a slight kick of lime and cilantro. Good enough to gnaw as it is, but save a slice or two for the end of the road drink uh, to replace your Bloody Mary's gringo celery stock mm. with a touch of gaucho swagger. I can't get this one open. You can give it to me. I see you did. It's not that tough, honey. I'm having a hard time. And then you didn't open it all the way. That's why. I really tore it part of the way. 
I think Jackson has scissors over there. Yeah, those child provisions. Yeah, <laughs> and I think they're over there. I keep trying. Okay, hang on okay. just one second. One second. Okay, we're back with package actually open. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's really quite, hold on. Look at this. It's not like any jerky. You're just what in the jerky, right. aren't you? Not too bad. This is garlic, lime, and cilantro flavored. It has beef, lime juice, water, orange juice, lemon juice, molasses, sea salt, brown sugar, garlic, onion, black pepper, powdered garlic, cilantro, coriander, coriander, and or, or, uh, oregano. Oregano, sorry. And it is, um, where is it from? Georgia. Georgia. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't put that on here. Yeah, they do. Where? Well, I'm sure they do. No website or nothing. I bet you they do. I bet you they do. Well, savagejerky.com is where go. it's from. And, um, I'm see a little... Georgia Buddies behind. You see all of the different colors. Spices, uh -huh. You like it? Yeah, it's good. Another one? No, I gotta help. I gotta do the next thing. What is the next thing? The next thing is Hernan Multiplano. All right. Here it is. It says, the epitome of so wrong, but so right flavored combination. Spicy chocolate, mole sauce, was rumored to have been right. invented centuries ago by... An industrious uh, gaggle of Mexican nuns that raiding nuns. the pantry to feed a passing archbishop, paying a surprise visit to their, co to their convent. So I didn't plan that. Um, the doorbell bet ring, but what I was going to say is I watched Sister Act last night, and that had nuns in it. And you just mentioned nuns. Huh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Said, should your own guests arrive in fashionably earlier, the only thing you, your pantry needs is a jar and a bag of chips. Hanan takes the traditional sauce of savory, spicy sweet blend of 28 different chilies and spices, plus chocolate, nuts, and raisins, um, and especially rich kind of Mexican unrefined cane sugar, which your guests will dip and munch away. Whisk, up, whisk it up in a saucepan uh, with water, or better, stock, and scoop in a, and scoop a... Mm -hmm. One or two mole and simmer cooked chicken or vegetables to your taco filling. Huh, so it looks like you can use it for just about everything. You want to smell it? Uh huh. It smells like chocolate. It smells like spicy chocolate. Mm hmm. That's what it is. I want to try it, but I'm scared it's going to be. It's going to be too spicy. Too for spicy you. for me. Okay. You think you'll like it? Yeah. It says you serve with poultry, pork, fish, grilled vegetables, or as an enchilada sauce. This, um, Exact is actually made in Mexico, but it says um, it's distributed by um, a place in Del Rio, Texas. And um, how do you say that? www.hernanllc.com. Um, and you know, this is an interesting box. I think I think a lot of guys would like it. What do you think? I do. I think so. I think it's kind of man stuff. Um, they also have a ton of boxes with alcohol. Like whiskey. That would be better. They got the smoke and, you know, the yeah. another smoke, like, I don't remember what it is, like smoke and salt, salty type of box. They got all kinds of really, really interesting boxes. We'll have a discount code below um, in case you want to try one of these boxes yourself. Thank you so much for sending it to us. You yeah, think absolutely. you'll enjoy Thanks. it? I will. I and um, we are, we are going to consider subscribing to it. So, you know, we didn't know anything about it. We, we just um, were contacted and we're so happy to be able to pass the news on to you guys that, you know, monthly subscriptions are not just for women because I tend to get most of the monthly subscriptions oh, around no, here. Not most all. Well, maybe not now. So I want to thank you guys for watching. You'll be able to find all of these products and um, pictures and everything else on my blog at kjaggers.com. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on my name if you're watching on YouTube. You can get subscribed and also follow along on Instagram, on Facebook. You'll see lots of updates on all kinds of things in our lives. Um, so we would love it if you followed along. And he'll make cameos every once in a while, huh. like he always does. We'll be back with the Try the World subscription box, too. That's one of our favorites. It's yeah, it a fun one. Answer. Yes, it should. And I just posted a planner um, subscription box, which I'm totally excited about. So you can check that out. I'll mm -hmm. link that below. And again, all of this is on our blog. And I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions or comments, leave those below. Bye.